<laughs> Hello, uh, it's good to see you again and uh, glad to have you with me today. It's one of those days when I have things in my calendar well into the evening. So we took the opportunity to go for our daily walk around 12.30. It's obvious that the City Council has decided that spring is on the way. The street plows are now street brushes, clearing up the salt and sand from the winter. I also noticed at one of the houses the vehicle on the trailer has changed from a snowmobile into a four-wheeler. Another sign of a new season. Easter time is when we're reminded of the cleansing work of God through Jesus. He took all the evil and sin in the whole of creation into himself on the cross and it was dealt with, just as some of the street sweepers take up all the grime of winter into themselves and clear the way. Once the streets have been swept, I always think there's a newness about them. Along with many other signs of spring, they point to new possibilities. The renewal brought by the death and resurrection of Jesus also points to a different way ahead. Paul says that in Christ we are new creations, citizens of heaven. The question I often face is, given such realities, do I live as if they're true? It's a little like having a four-wheeler but never going off the road. It's not always safe to go into the woods or down into the steep-sided ravines, but it's what the machine was built for. Since its beginning, the church has had periods of calm, sticking to well-known tracks, and then times when it's had to head off into uncharted territory in order to discover where God is leading next. I know what I prefer, puttering along in the familiar, whether in my own personal journey or as a leader in the church, is much my preferred course of action. Life is predictable, and as long as we don't drive too fast and kick up too much dust, we can all travel together and get to where we are headed safely. The good news is that for some of us, we're going to be able to stick to the trail. But I'm also aware that as time goes by, more and more of us are going to have to head off through the mud puddles out into the deep woods, where we have never been before. The journeys we make will not like, look like anything we anticipated. Although we are going into places we cannot imagine, we can be confident that God has not only imagined them, but has gone ahead of us. It was the same for the disciples at the first Easter. In Mark's Gospel, the confusion of events around the tomb led to the disciples being told that Jesus had gone ahead of them into Galilee and he would meet them there. As we follow the resurrected Christ into uncertain places, he meets us there. Once again, thank you for being here. I trust that things are going well with you. God bless and stay safe.